Lean Sigma, as the name implies, is the combination of Lean and Six Sigma, the two most powerful business improvement tools developed in the past hundred years. To understand Lean Sigma, it's helpful to see how it evolved. Let's start with the Lean part. Traditional manufacturing is rooted in the ability to efficiently produce high quantities of products. This is known as mass production and first became possible back in the 1800s when the Springfield Armory in Massachusetts began using interchangeable parts and standardized production methods. However, mass production created a new set of issues, namely large inventories and a high potential for obsolescence as products sat around for months and years without being sold, problems that manufacturers still struggle with today. Another milestone occurred when Henry Ford developed the modern assembly line and began churning out Model T's by the millions, making the automobile an affordable reality for the first time. But there was no production flexibility at Ford. Each of the early Model T's was exactly the same. As the joke went at the time, you can have it in any color as long as it's black. Enter Teichi Ono in the 1950s who worked for a small and nearly bankrupt automobile manufacturer in Japan named Toyota. At the time Toyota was under enormous pressure to cut costs and increase efficiency. Ono went to the United States to study Ford's assembly lines and he also visited another American phenomenon, the supermarket. Ono returned to Japan and with his colleagues at Toyota developed the Toyota production system widely considered the finest manufacturing model in the world and the foundation of lean manufacturing. In the 50s when Ono was developing their production system Toyota didn't sell enough of a single model to justify Ford's mass production techniques and they couldn't afford the complex machinery thought to be the key to increasing productivity so Ono and his team had to work with what they had Essentially, they set out to develop a poor man's version of the Ford production system. They focused on relentlessly eliminating wasted time and activity in every part of the manufacturing process. As a result, they were able to dramatically cut costs and production lead times. They also developed a breakthrough process for rapidly changing over equipment and production lines to produce different models. As a result, Toyota was able to make a variety of models on the same production line faster and more efficiently than their giant competitors, a critical competitive advantage. Today, Toyota sells about 7 million Toyota and Lexus vehicles a year and is one of the world's most respected and profitable manufacturers. In recent years, Dell Computer, considered by many to be America's most efficient manufacturer, has rocketed past all their competitors in the computer business, using the tools of the Toyota production system and lean manufacturing. Those are also the tools we will be using in your Lean Sigma transformation. Now for the Sigma part of Lean Sigma. Even in the leanest manufacturing plants, quality issues arise that are difficult to identify and correct. Six Sigma is especially effective at identifying the root cause of quality problems and eliminating defects by reducing variation in manufacturing processes. The quality tools and techniques that were named Six Sigma by Motorola in the 1980s are not new. They were developed over the past 50 or more years through the work of quality experts such as Deming, Duran and others. Despite the use of the term today, Six Sigma is actually a numerical measurement of quality. To achieve Six Sigma, precisely 99.99966% of what you do must be without defects. From a manufacturing standpoint, that means just 3.4 defects per million products made. You might ask, isn't 99% pretty good too? Surprisingly, manufacturing 99% of your products without defects means you'll have 10,000 defects per million. And at 95%, that number jumps to 50,000 defects. TBM, together with Maytag, one of our clients, created the name Lean Sigma in 1997. We concluded that any continuous improvement effort to be most effective must include both Lean and Six Sigma tools to eliminate waste and defects in the production system.